Hello, it's me again, Tom. Uh, Apologise if I'm looking slightly off to the left or right. I don't know which way this will be because I'm doing it reverse. I'm recording this on an iPad, which is quite precariously balanced against a PS2 and a GameCube. So that's probably why the, the camera looks a bit dodgy. Um, like I said, I've, I've got I've got proper cameras, but none of them have a screen that you can switch, you know, you can flip it around so you can see what, you, what you're doing while you're recording it. And I want to be able to see myself while I'm recording it. Otherwise, I'm, you know, I could be cutting half my face off as I'm recording, so. Great, um, right, uh, I did a video a few days ago where I just kind of walked around the room and showed people what kind of crap I've got in here. Um, and a few people commented saying, um, do a video about all your Dreamcast stuff. Uh, I will do that, but there's that much stuff, game-wise, game, game wise, um, it'd, be, it'd take forever. I, I, I have to, I'm just trying to think about how I would actually do it. Um, I can't just go through, oh, this is game X and this is game Z, because that would be pretty boring, to be honest. So I'm just trying to think of a way of um, making it interesting uh, with my monotone delivery. Uh, <laughs> in the meantime, I thought what I'd do is uh, another little video on some of the pieces of Dreamcast um, paraphernalia. That I've got some of the more unusual bits and pieces I've collected over the over the years. Um, if you follow me on Twitter or you, you've read the Dreamcast Junkyard, you've probably seen most of this stuff. Um, but I know the internet's a big place. Uh, I'm guessing that half the people watching this will not have even have never even seen my face or heard of my writing or anything like that before. So that's all good. Um, so what I've left, like I said, I will uh, show a few little oddities that I've collected over the years. Some of them are quite common, but. I'm guessing there's you know people who've never seen them before, so I just thought I'd share them. Right, okay, so the first one I have is, and again this was in my last video, is this, which is the Dreamcast um arcade stick. It's got a nice micro switch uh thing. <laughs> uh buttons, you know, to play uh fighting games and arcade games and stuff. But again, I'm I'm pretty confident that not everyone's got one of these and Probably never, maybe never even seen one before. Um, it's quite a big unit. Um, you can put like the, your uh, memory cards in the in the back there, and it's got a metal base on it. Um, but yeah, it's it's really good for fighting games, as you would imagine. Um, but also good for like shooters as well, like Ikaruga and things like that, just because it looks like an arcade cabinet, and them games are pretty much arcade shooters. Um, so yeah, there's that one. It's just got a normal cable on the end, like a normal joypad. You just stick it in and away you go. I've not tried it with any like driving games or anything yet, but I imagine it would be quite interesting to try and play Sega Rally with, with that. <laughs> that's if it even works. I, I don't know, I've not tried it yet, but that's maybe something I will do in the, in the near future. So that's the first thing. Right, uh, the second thing, again, is something that you've probably seen if you follow me on Twitter, but it's so weird and I've never really seen one before. I just thought I'd bring it on here as well. Uh, it's this. Uh, this is the uh, the Dreamcast uh, the Dreamcast tissue box holder. So it's made of cloth. You can probably tell that from the video. Uh, it's even got like the modem on the side. Uh, it's made of cloth, and and you open up the top there, and you've got uh, like a you pull tissue out. Uh, it's it's got the buttons on it. They're made again made of cloth, so like it looks like it's handmade. To be honest. Um, the way the buttons are sewn on because they're, just, they're not exactly straight they're not completely straight and the little light at the front uh, and there's no kind of there's no Dreamcast swirl on the top so you can't tell which region it was meant to be um, but basically on the back you've got um, like a velcro thing and you can slide a tissue box in and out of there and inside it's got foam squishy bits to, to hold the tissue box in, in, in place uh, just say Copyright 2001 on the little tag there, but that doesn't really give any indication as to whether or not it's even a, an official licensed product. If it's not, I, I just want to know what the logic behind making that was, because it's, well, it's a hideous thing really, isn't it? Look at the state of it. I mean, it's actually bigger than an actual Dreamcast. Look. <laughs> so that's the tissue box holder. Um, next thing. It's not really uncommon, it's not really an oddity, but I thought I'd show it anyway. It's uh, the issue zero of the UK Dreamcast magazine. Um, this is this came out before the first issue of the magazine, um, so it's, it's not got an issue number, it's just a special issue. It's probably back to front on this video, because like I said, I'm using the iPad to, to, to film this. Um, 
But yeah, it, it's, it's got a few reviews in it, um, and yeah, it's just a magazine really. Um, I'm not even sure, I don't think it came with a demo disc. Uh, well, it came with a video, it came, yeah, it came with a video, a VHS tape. Um, it's got loads of these like adverts for the, for the Dreamcast and the, the whole six billion players, up to six billion players, things everywhere. Um, yeah, big old CRT TV down there showing Dream Arena. Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, the issue zero of Greenpeace magazine, that's something. Uh, moving on to more wearable things. This is the Greenpeace messenger bag. Um, unlike the one that you can get off Insert Coin, I think it's called Insert Coin, it's a clothing thing online um, that's meant to look like a Greencast. This is uh, it's a lot bigger than that one and it's a lot more functional. I believe, I tried to, I looked into where this actually originates from and apparently, uh, according to a comment on the Dreamcast Junkyard, I think it was on the Facebook page, um, these were given out to like, retailers like uh, Electronics Boutique and, and places like that, um, to like the managers of the stores. Um, so they are quite uncommon, um, but the detail is really good. I mean, you've got like little swirls on the on the, the buckle clasps down here. Um, on the on the side there, you've got the Dreamcast swirl. Uh, even like on the zips, you've got the Dreamcast logo. Uh, it's quite functional. I use this for work, to be honest. To take you know, take like notepads and stuff to work in it. It's got like Dreamcast branded on the inside. You put pens and stuff in it. Uh, you can even, you know, I sometimes put my laptop in it. It's quite it's quite big. Um, I mean, you could even put like your Dreamcast on it if you wanted to. It's not designed to be a Dreamcast carry case, but there's nothing to stop you putting a Dreamcast in it <laughs> if that's what you so desire. Uh, these little pockets as well are perfect for VMUs in case you wanted to uh, carry one around with you for whatever reason. Uh, so yeah, that's the, uh, the Dreamcast Messenger bag. Nice bit of kit that. Um, uh, the last thing I've got is this, which is the Dreamcast jacket. Um, now, on the front it says SOE PD. I'm guessing that's Sega of Europe product development or something like that um, and then as you've just seen on the back it's got the, um, it's got the Dreamcast logo embroidered um, this is unfortunately a tiny bit too small for me it's made by the, uh, the Kobold company never heard of it either um, I guess they make um, merchandise um, but like I say, unfortunately, it's a tiny bit too small, so I, I don't wear it in public. Um, otherwise, I probably would, to be honest, I'm that, that sad. Um, yeah, it's made of like a sort of nylon -y fabric. It's quite padded as well. Uh, it's got like a nice quilted inside. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't really know what else to say about that. I, I, I believe it was given out to like Sega Europe staff at the launch of the Dreamcast. Um, again, it's quite, it's quite an uncommon item. I, I've certainly never seen one before. Or since I bought this it, on eBay in about 2005, late 2005, early 2006, um, I think it was like a tenner or something. Uh, God knows how much it's worth now. It's probably worth quite a bit to be honest. But I'm not really looking to sell my stuff. It's just stuff I've collected over the years. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, and that is pretty much it for this video. That's just a few little oddities that I had. I've got other stuff like the guns and the not the maracas, the fishing rod and all them other things, but they're quite common, so I don't think I'll bother um, showing you those. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.